I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Round two, baby. Well, Uh-oh. round three for me, round two for you. But you know what? I'm going to say you, I'm going to say this is just the second episode. The first episode was trash. Actually, funny enough, so, someone did comment on it because my, my light was so bright and my cat, I was using my camcorder for it. Someone said I look like a beluga whale that shaved. I'm like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fucking people are ruthless here. <laughs> did you tell them beluga whales don't have hair? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, they can figure that out. Why should why, why should I have to tell them? Google, bitch. Use Google, you fucking cunt. How was your how, how was your weekend, man? You, you look comfy. You wearing a robe? You... Oh yeah, man. I got my uh, what was it? Uh, man, he said my Heil Hefner. Heil Heil Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, it was good, man. I freaking uh watched the. Playoffs yesterday. Trey nice. came over. Oh, nice, nice. And, how, uh, how how was your uh your little um what you call it fundraiser you were doing? Oh, uh, I wasn't doing the fundraiser. So um the VFW ran a uh, promotion for um, veterans with PTSD, and they That's did cool. a, a cookout with uh, steaks, cigars, and raffles and all that. So I. Uh, Myself, Noah's dad, and uh, a couple of others, we all got together and um, we freaking <laughs> gay. Uh, <laughs> had a good time. <laughs> I've never been to San Francisco. I- I've flown to San Francisco to- in like a- with like a layover, but I've never like actually been. Yeah. I've been in. It's like what Dave Chappelle says it's the anus of America, baby. where everybody gets fucked in it seriously i'm out of this world you're out of this world hell yeah baby oh my god oh man yeah not not now you just look like you're just trying to yeah just hide your victims right now you kind of look like a um what you call it like a like a taliban before you're about to be beheaded so so that way america doesn't know where you're at exactly well, Allah Akbar all the way to the stock bar. Ah, hello, Akbar. No Hamas sense. asked you to stop joking about this. Hey, boxes here in the office. <laughs> hey, but before before I get into it, um, are you available on March the 9th to Saturday? Why does that sound familiar? Why? What's March 9th? What do you got? The Ocala Show. Let's see. March 9th. Yeah, I just, want, I just want to clarify with the with you and uh, my other one I'm going to choose. So that way, well, yeah, so that way we can uh, RSVP and get everything rocking and rolling. Let me check with Trina. March 9th is the second show at the Roost. Oh, is it really? Yeah. All right. Well, that uh, sucks too. I was gonna see if you wanted to host. Mm, yeah, I'm already I'm hosting the Ocala one. But all right, well, I, I'll, I'll get you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. That should be fun though. I really want to do that. Oh, you will. Actually, yeah. you know what? I might be able to uh, just have somebody else host that and just do it. On, well, no, because I like the money I get there. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna make My sure you, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure y'all get money at this one too. And plus yeah. you you'll be you'll be doing more time. Uh, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna give you guys a like 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah. And and think about it, new new city, man. Yep, new area. New faces. Um, yeah, I'll be get everything. Uh, I'll check with Shannon and see what we can do. Hell and, yeah. Uh, if I can yeah. fill any voids that way. Hell yeah, man. Absolutely. Cool. You well, know, it Rick killed it apparently at tap this, so I might have him run another one. Oh really? I man, I really wish I would have gone. I I was like, I was, I was wanting to go, but I was just like, mm, I don't feel like making that drive <laughs> and shit. But man, I always I always fuck up on those on those kind of shows, especially you know when they turn out to be really good. I I'm, I'm I always check myself. 
for, oh, dude. for not going. I'm notorious for going. Oh, I worked all day and I have to get up at four in the morning. Yeah. I not will, going down there. I guess you could say I'm a FOMO sexual. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing out. It's a real thing. Bro. It really <laughs> fucking is, man. I, I had it bad in college. Like, like whenever I'd see like my buddies on like Instagram just doing this crazy shit, I'm like, motherfuckers, I wanted to fucking do that, man. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so let's let's waste no time. Um, people who haven't seen the show, it's plain and simple. EJ and I will uh, present ourselves, uh, present it to each other with uh, articles that are talking about people that are extremely white trash and they got in trouble. EJ, you wanna you wanna go ahead with the first one? Actually, let's go. Over, let's remind people what our original ones were. So yours was what again? Was Nicole Max in? <laughs> Volusia County, 35 <laughs> years old, killed a 75 year old man or 79 year old, 79. ran to a Crystal Burger with the murder weapons and <laughs> blood all over her. When the cops pulled up, she dropped them like, I don't know where they came from. And then when they were playing good cop, bad cop, they gave her a thing of Mountain Dew <laughs> and she poured it on herself to ruin the DNA evidence. You know, it's really funny. I, that clip of you talking about the the uh, the article didn't get as much attention as it did when we talked about the vagina monologues. <laughs> Dude, I, Shannon tried to give me shit about that. She goes, "You really never heard of the vagina monologues?" I'm like, <laughs> "No." And she goes, "That just shows how young you are." I'm like, First "I'm young. All, I'm younger than you, and I knew I, I knew the vagina monologues." Yeah, I didn't have HBO. We was poor. I didn't have HBO either. I just, I think my, I think like my cousin or his friends like bought it. I think they rented it, rented it on VHS at like Hollywood video just to make fun of it and shit. And I thought it was, <laughs> I was like nine years old. I should not have been watching it at the time. So that's, I mean, clearly that's why I'm so fucked up, but I think women are, no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, women are great. When you said that, uh, when I looked it up, I was like, HBO, I was like, no wonder this this motherfucker had hbo just don't make me look look, hey look just fyi we're not we're not streaming but please don't make me do please don't make me do work please don't make me do a lot of work man i caught myself you did can't you did i'm proud of you emory i'm very fucking proud of you bro it's yeah (laughs) oh man and yours was mine was I can't remember the name. It was a quad adult a quadruple paraplegic. He didn't have arms or legs. Shot and killed his both of his parents. That one were one, one was like a teacher, and allegedly. the other one uh, allegedly, allegedly everybody. Uh, so and this and I don't even know if he got. I don't know if he went to prison or anything. But regardless, this is our show. If I say he's white trash and in trouble, he is white trash and in trouble. In trouble. I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. So, would you like to start off with your article? I want to hear. No, it. actually, I want you to start off. You want me? You had freaking yeah, man! I've been anticipating yours all day. Okay. Since you're like you're gonna love it. Okay, you are gonna love it. So, this was just December of 2023, just a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Tony contestant arrested in allegations of January 6th riots. <laughs> Wait, when did Tony go on? Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. When did he go on? Kill Tony? Just kidding. <laughs> Aaron Jones. That is her name. Not. It's a female? Not, it's a female. And her husband. Oh! And, this and, is a turn? Yes. And her husband. Okay. Karen Jones of Santa Inez public official. Uh, yes. Santa Inez public official and January 6th is arrested. Jones and her husband face federal charges of trespassing and disorderly conduct. If you want, if you are curious to what this person looks like, there she is. She looks like an old sailor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got the. She looks she, like a she transgender. Got, <laughs> she she kind of looks like Caitlyn Jenner, but more masculine. So it's like Bruce, it's like Bruce on the cusp of Caitlyn and and Bruce. <laughs> Bruce mid transmission. <laughs> In between shifting. <laughs> 
Okay. <clears throat> so what did she do? Like make the signs and cook people food? Yeah, I'm, about, I'm, I'm, I'm about to explain. <laughs> Three years after she helped lead the the first wave of January 6 rioters up the steps of the U.S. Capitol, pushing through a line of police and receiving a volley of pepper spray in the process, Santa Yanez resident Karen Jones was arrested and charged with federal counts of entering a restricted building and disorderly conduct. So she was probably one of the ones who actually was like causing trouble while the other ones were actually let in. You know, I've seen the videos. I'm not. I'm not trying to be all. Oh, and all the all But I mean, I've seen <laughs> I've seen a lot of the videos. You know, people were let in, but she was, I guess, one of the ones that were, uh, you know, I guess broke in. I mean, I will. It, it's a this building weird. that she helped pay for. <laughs> it's, yeah, seriously. No, it's weird because she actually said, "Uh, so wait, no, what? What the fuck? Pushing through a line of police." How how pussy do you, do these police officers have to be to let a they little six nine pound Karen fucking slip through? Exactly. <laughs> and it's I love that her name is Karen too, man. It's brilliant. <laughs> All right, they're like they're the police from freaking uh, Demolition Man. We're police officers. We're not trained to handle this kind of violence. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. <gasps> what? Mm-mm. Oh my! So you don't know how to use the three seashells? Hmm. You gotta watch the movie, man. All right, I got. I'll watch the movie. Yes, it is a classic. It's one of the greatest, <sighs> like coming to life type of deals. It's kind of like Idiocracy. You know how it started off okay. as a joke, but it's becoming a documentary. Yeah. Same with Demolition Man. Like, right. You're not allowed to cuss. You get a fine for cussing. Oh my god! You violated the verbal paralysis. Dude, you dude, we we'd be in fucking debt. <laughs> you kidding? We just got fined like seven fucking times. <laughs> Eight fucking times now. <laughs> Unbelievable right. Mickey Mouse piece of shit. <laughs> so Jones, an elected director of the Santa Yanez Valley Community uh, Service District. I think Santa Yanez is near like where, where, where Miranda's family's from. From California? Yeah, I think it's like near Santa Barbara or something like that. Wait, a California liberal rioted at the Capitol? <gasps> No. Oh, oh, she's clearly not liberal. <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? Everybody cult? in California is liberal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you pay the taxes, you're guilty. <laughs> okay. An elected director of the Santa Ynez Valley Community Service District, a local tax collecting agency that provided sewer and streetlight services to residents surrendered to authorities, authorities on December 14th in Austin, Texas. She went to Austin for she did, kill Tony. She, she did kill Tony. Surrendered there. Well, the police fucking got to her. That's why. At Kill Tony? Not at Kill Tony, but I think she, so she, her, her shit aired. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Jones's husband Robert, good old Bob, who accompanied her during the riot, was arrested the same day in Los Angeles and faces the same set of charges. He's like, oh, I, I, what is what is this travesty? I'm just an American, okay? I thought I was doing the right thing. Like, this is what you get for supporting your wife, your wife, Bob. <laughs> this is what you get for marrying a Karen, you fuck. <laughs> Each count carries a maximum potential sentence of 12 months in prison. That's easy. Yeah, what, it's, five counts. Yeah, I mean, if you got, good, you got good behavior, good you're probation. Out. Exactly. The couple if, are. Oh, good. So they'll get probation if the couple are the first Santa Barbara County, Santa Barbara County residents to be arrested and charged in, in connection with the events of January 6th. Their arrangement before. Oh, they spelled arrangement wrong in this article. Those fucking retards. Look at this. Look at white that. White trash. That's white <laughs> trash. Ar- arrangement. Arraignment. Arraignment. <laughs> That's arraignment. What? That's arraignment. Oh wait, so that's a that, that's an actual word. Yeah, it was when you come before the judge. <laughs> I thought I've it... been white trash and in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am I am white trash and a and, and a moron apparently. <laughs> wow, wow, Scott, you fucking retard. <laughs> Scott. Read read the sentence. Use the context clues. <laughs> Their arraignment before a U.S. magistrate judge is scheduled in two weeks. 
the alignment. <laughs> I mean, you could definitely say I'm not Scotty Genius or anything like that. <laughs> God damn. All right, here, here it goes right here. In June, at an amateur comedy show in Austin, Texas, Jones boasted about her participation in the attempted takeover of the Capitol, telling the crowd, I have been to the Capitol multiple times, and there has never been any reason not to go in. I didn't do anything that I thought was illegal. Jones claimed she only entered a public section of the building and never a private office or other restricted areas. Here's here's another uh, close-up. Uh, of her god that oh that's her and her husband right there they kind of look like characters from christmas story <laughs> lick the pole <laughs> lick the pole it's it would have only so been more bad. fun if she was on stage telling about this right and mm-hmm. then she gets off and the cops arrested her there and tony was like she wasn't funny it should be criminal for her not being funny <laughs> yeah that'd be fucking brilliant right there <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so cell phone video from that day shows Jones in a hooded sweatshirt, a dark colored Trump cap, leading a group of protesters in the Pledge of Allegiance shortly before they breached the eastern doors. I was <laughs> they pledged allegiance before they raided. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to I mean, and, and, and to Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Shh. No. That's not how it works. <laughs> They said, I pledge allegiance to 45, <laughs> Donnie T for America. Now 47. <laughs> the of Grab her by the pussy. <laughs> and 47 under God. Big, big Trump King. And we went there. And we went there. Fucking Donnie T, baby. <laughs> Did- for the record, I'm a felon and I don't vote. You can't vote? Uh, I didn't even try to get my rights back yet. Because I've been giving him lefts. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> wait, I didn't. I didn't know you were a felon. I'm a piece of shit. Oh, I mean, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. I don't know. I don't know you had charges. Yeah. Long story short, I was. Uh, we're gonna talk about this on here, huh? I was. Dating hey, yeah, a, hey, hey, we don't have to. I was just. I, I, I just didn't deal. know because I Here's mean, I know. I mean, I know. I have a judification withheld on my uh, my felony, so I mean, I'm technically not a felon. Did you have sex in prison? Huh? Did you have sex in prison? Oh, only when I wanted to. Like every <laughs> day. <laughs> I didn't go to prison. That's good. I, uh, That's good. No, it, I got in trouble with uh, a dancer ex of mine that was changing the kid's diaper when kicking uh, her out. I smacked his penis down when he pissed on me, and I got in trouble for it. Oh, the kid? So, yeah. Oh, no like, shit. Yeah, it wasn't even – It was. It, blew up to be way bigger because we were drunk we were fighting mm. i was kicking her out like long story honestly we should probably edit most of this shit out because like it's not something i'm proud of it's no, I, I, a learning lesson in life nah man you're, you're However, good <laughs> yeah in person i'll give you more a lot more detail like before shannon and i got together actually um <laughs> you know she she called me and she was like uh we need to have a talk I was like, ah, somebody Googled my name and found an arrest record. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. So this is like, going to be episode four of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna... I will never do that to you, dude. <laughs> this is a cancel culture setback. Wait, wait, so like, wait, the kid was, wait, you were yelling and back and forth with, with the girl and then the kid peed on you. All right. So I was working two jobs at the time. I was yeah. working with my brother-in-law, the one that killed himself uh, yeah, before yeah. that show. Yeah. And uh, working carpentry shop in the morning, plastic factory. In the evening. So I had about five hours of the day that I would have to myself, which mm-hmm. not even to myself, to get home, shower, eat, go to sleep, get up for the next job. Which plastics factory did you work at? If you don't have uh, USF. 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 Okay, because I, because I, because I, 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 I uh, uh, deliver to like two plastic companies. I wasn't sure if it was one of the. It's not. Yeah. Um. And freaking had a a Saturday off. I think it was a Saturday. No, I think it was Thursday. Actually, it was June 9th of two thousand fourteen. Um. Either way, freaking. Uh. Yeah. Drinking with my brother in law. We went to the store. Come back, and she got home from work. She was a stripper. Mm-hmm. And she was drunk, and I was like, you know, you haven't helped out with bills or anything. I've been taking care of your fucking kid. Get the fuck out. 
uh, took all of her stuff. I put it into a laundry crate and I threw it out the back door. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it just escalated from there, like being pissy and everything. My sister's like, you can't throw her out. She has a kid. I'm like, I'm done supporting her. Done supporting him. I'm done. And she goes, will you change this diaper before I freaking go along while I call a friend to come and pick me up? So I said, yeah, I'm changing his diaper. Just wiped him. He fucking pissed on me. I went, pop, you know. Dude, Phoenix, she was standing there in the doorway. She called the cops. Oh, right? They Jesus showed up. Christ. They asked me what happened. As my brother-in-law and I are sitting on the fucking picnic table. Tell them, you know, everything I just told you. And they're like, the cop goes, you're a fucking idiot. I said, what? And then the sergeant stepped forward, told me I was under arrest because I admitted to putting my hands on the kid. God um, damn it. I Oh, my God. That pisses me off right there, dude. It, it happens, dude. Like... I'll talk about it with people, but for yeah. the most part, people don't know. Yeah, you know, I also have freaking domestic batteries, you know, for fighting my little brother. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. And uh, fucking possession of marijuana. <laughs> oh Jesus uh, Christ! Possession that's of my marijuana. criminal record, bud. Couple of possessions. Dude, so. fuck, dude, fuck possession of marijuana. Yeah, but it is what it is, you know. When Shannon and I yeah. got together, we found that out, and she had no one know it was like ten years old. She, she has contacts in the police department and everything, right? And she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, we need to talk. I was like, yeah, well, there you go. Nice talking with you. Mm-hmm. She goes, I didn't say that. I want to know, like, your side of things. Uh, I told her, and then she freaking got with her, her cop buddies. They pulled the reports and everything, and they fucking let her see it. And she's like, oh, and the guy's like, yeah, it happens all the time. It sucks, but it is what it is. They uh, She got arrested a couple days after I did for child neglect and endangerment. Oh, he had bruises and stuff like and they were like yeah he hasn't been there long enough to actually do anything to the kid you know Waylon he's he was 14 months you know when I was there so with with that kind of name he's gonna be a country singer no he's probably gonna end up in prison as a fucking piece of shit like her dad hey look at hey look at Jelly Roll look look at all these other guys you know who who uh you know ended up in in in, in the system and shit Jelly Roll successful. Then again, that's like a rarity right there. Yeah. Well, it happens. You know, a lot of smart people and talented people, everybody makes mistakes. And it's funny because so many people are quick to be like, oh, you're a piece of shit. You know, like we're sitting here talking shit about people, white trash and in trouble for fun. (laughs) You know, but at the end of the day. It it makes us feel good, everybody. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) At the end of the day, you know, freaking we all make choices. Yeah, of course. All it takes is one wrong choice for you to end up in those shoes. You know, should I have been it makes one wrong choice for you to look in the camera and say, I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, like everybody gave uh, that Henry Ruggs kid, the the wide receiver for the Raiders that uh, killed yeah. that lady and her dog in the car accident. Mm-hmm. Everybody was giving him shit. Oh, like, yeah, guy's a piece of shit, entitled, privileged motherfucker and all this. I'm like, dude, he's a 21-year-old kid that was given millions of dollars and got behind the wheel of a Corvette. Like, I was behind the wheel of a 2001 Chevy Cavalier and maxing that bitch out freaking, you know? Like, we all did stupid shit, you know? It just happened to be he was a public figure. Yep. It just takes one moment to make a wrong decision in life, and you can end up there. So many smart and talented people are behind bars over something stupid. Oh, absolutely. that they made that one choice. Absolutely. Whether it be like they were, you know, in love, and that girl cheated on them, and they didn't know how to process that that sadness, that rage, that everything that went across their mind. And it was, you know. Yeah. Well, God damn, this, this podcast has got depressing. <laughs> it's all, it's <laughs> well, all let's lighten it up with a little bit of inbreeding. What do yeah. you say? Let's do it, baby. So, um, okay. <laughs> uh, so just to um, close it out here, basically it, it talks about her, um, her background, how she fucking gave a lot of money to the Shumash Indians and stuff. And I'm like, okay, who cares? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> who cares, uh, Karen? Who cares, Karen? You, you're you're just a Karen. Karen and <laughs> and fucking sh- Shumash language is fucking bitch dumb. Um, <laughs> bitch dumb. <laughs> bitch, bitch dumb. <laughs> hey yo, bitch dumb. Hey yo, bitch dumb. Uh, but- I thought Karen loosely translated in uh, native was woman who complains to manager. Uh, so bitch dumb <laughs> uh, but there's no 
there's there's nothing going on right now. She's basic. She's basically still in jail. She's just waiting for a trial. So that's pretty much it on Karen's end right there. I mean, I could play the clip of of her admitting on January sixth, but then again, I don't want to get copywritten or anything like that. Yeah, kill Tony. Yeah. No, yeah. no need. So, so regardless of uh, you know if she says she's innocent or not, Karen Jones of Santa Ynez, California, who stormed the Capitol, you are white trash and you are in trouble. Boom, boom. All right, EJ. <laughs> All right, so take us home. Whenever you think of inbreeding, what's the first area of the world you think of? Fucking Newport Richie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Everybody no, but, thinks the South, right? No, but for real, for real, I, uh, okay. If, when I think of inbreeding, I think of like Alabama or West Virginia, Kentucky, yeah, basically Appalachia, really. You know, the first thing I truly think of. What's that? Royals down the line in history. Royals too. Yes, you are. You are correct. Yes. But in this case, neither one of us would be right. We're going all the way down under. Australia. Yeah. Inbreeding in Australia. Then again, you know, like oh. how many prisoners were sent down there, and how many of them had a fuck? You know, at least a few. This is a little more recent. <laughs> Ooh, this let's is go. Really recent. Let's go. So, April 10th of last year, <laughs> Australia established Strike Force Hermione to Hermione. investigate <laughs> serious <laughs> allegations of incest, <laughs> underage sexual assault, and neglect on the Colt family's farm after a young girl was reported to be living in unkempt, uh, living unkempt in the woods while pregnant with her brother's child. Oh my god, it's like the little uh, baby from uh, Held and Kumar with the one eye. <laughs> it's the <a> Held <laughs> eye. <laughs> so the police in Australia have arrested eight members of the infamous incest farm in incest Australia. Farm. They fled across three states because, believe it or not, Australia has states for all you dumbasses yes, out there. I knew that, yes. <laughs> uh, for more than a decade of investigations. So the Colt family, it's a pseudonym given by the court, practice incest across four generations. And it started when a brother and sister couple, Tim and June, fucking white trash names. Tim and June. Yeah. <laughs> married oh, June, in the June. mid 60s. Right? In the so, mid 60s or in their mid 60s? In uh, like 1960. 1960. I want to say it was. Okay. Okay. In the mid-1960s. Okay. Um, so, 38 members were found by the police living in tents and shacks along the New South Wales farm in Australia in 2012. <laughs> the family matriarch, Betty Colt, who is believed to be Tim and June's daughter slash sister, nephew, cousin. <laughs> Wait, when they were found, do you think the police found them? They're all like this? <laughs> We are going to have sex in your Prius again. <laughs> you just like my brother. <laughs> what a cousin. It's like the fucking dudes from uh, the West Virginia. <laughs> so, the family matriarch, Betty Colt, God. who is believed to be Tim and June's daughter, oh, is reported to have conceived 12 children together with her brother, Charlie. You know what they say, the closer kin, the deeper in. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, on that Friday of March 10th, eh, uh, Betty was flown to Sydney after the New South Wales police successfully sought the extradition of all the interstate suspects. It was following years of investigation under the family that spread across various states and remote locations in the aftermath of that 2012 police raid. So, eight individuals in total, aged between 29 to 50, have been arrested. Only six have subsequently appeared in court as of this article that I found. Yeah. So, their investigation was including things like DNA testing. <laughs> which, sorry, it's kind of funny when you do it and it's like 13 alleles and like 10 of them are the same. <laughs> 
where's the story come from that weren't the same? <laughs> like, uh, that's Uncle Cousin Johnny. Wait, no, he's Uncle, Uncle Cousin Brother Son. Uncle Cousin Brother Dad Grandfather Billy. So, as it goes with inbreeding, many of them suffer from facial disfor uh, deformities, uh, <laughs> speech difficulties. <laughs> We got facial deformities. If if we want to go, if, wait we, for it. if, if we want to get really oh, it's hygiene. <laughs> 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 so my inbred ass found this article. If, if we if we want to get technical as well too, religiously, they're Jewish <laughs> <laughs> because it's all practice of the Old Testament too. What? <laughs> For those of you who think of the South and think of sister fucking like any Alabama fans. <clears throat> oh, no! <laughs> Australia's doing some family fucking too. And you know what? They're all white trash and they're all in trouble. <laughs> but they don't know what's going on right now. They're all like, <clears throat> well, apparently <clears throat> they counted the population <clears throat> of this family. By the teeth. <laughs> By the teeth? <laughs> there was one apiece. <laughs> Did one just look over at the guy who was just like... <laughs> <laughs> he opened his mouth and it looked like Predator. <laughs> it's like, or he had the, the, the vagina monologue vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did we learn about this? The New South Wales motto is not... Incest is best when you put your family to the test. <laughs> it's just really funny that, to me, that an entire island made up of convicts at one point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have inbreds. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I was wondering. I mean, if it's all convicts, it's mostly men. So what happened? Did, like, the men who are convicts just fuck aborigine women or something like that? And then, or did they bring women convicts down there, too? I reckon... Bear. Bear My dog you. Is white trash and she's going to be in trouble. Bear you, bitch. <laughs> you fat bitch. <laughs> Fucking, I'm sure Valor's over bad. there humping, humping something right now. He's oh, like, he I, 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 I got to hump this right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. now um, we get into the discussion. Why do you think they deserve to be in trouble? Would well, you? They were living in a camp, okay, in the woods. All of them are inbred. They had yeah. buckets of feces and and urine all around them. Yeah. Okay. That's neglect. And aside from that, somebody was fucking his sister. <laughs> and no matter where you are, sir, that is not okay. It's only a yeah. cousin. Yeah, your cousin or stepmom. It. Or stepmom. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love when my stepmom gets stuck in a dryer. <laughs> Stepson. <laughs> Stepson. Well, it's funny because I was fingering my sister the other night and I found my dad's mm -hmm. wedding ring. So I know how these guys feel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, that's cause, no, that's right. I was fingering my sister, and I found my dad's watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, how, how did that get in there? It really pissed me off when I was hitting it from behind, and she called me my brother's name. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, the funny th story, funny part of this story is, a lot of these kids have ended up in foster care. Okay. Right. Now, as a former foster care kid, I can say it's some of the worst environments possible. So if you think them being uh, inbred is going to go any easier now that they're not with their inbred brothers and sisters, it's not. Your mother is a crackhead and she left you at a 7 Eleven. Your mother is your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, that's that's a good bit right there, man. <laughs> like your mother's a quack kid left your show up. Your mother is your sister. <laughs> uh, 
That's uh, fucking brilliant right there, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, how does that work? How is your mother your sister? How would that work? I don't know. I'm not inbred. I just look like it. <laughs> <laughs> don't look inbred. If it wasn't for this patchy facial hair and this fucked up tooth and this retarded brain, I would totally be normal. <laughs> I, Everybody's gonna shit on me. It's me. <laughs> actually, I have I have a question about your tooth, and uh, and don't take it personal. Uh, was it from uh, trauma or anything, or is it like did you get hit in the face or something? Uh, yeah, tile. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So you fell on tile, or did someone throw like a tile thing? Drunken at you? fight. Drunken uh, fight. Oh, so someone like okay, so you're like you're fighting somebody at the and you got face and you slammed on your face onto the tile. So without revealing people's names, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at a house party a long time ago, and uh, was this time where I was really, really white trash and in trouble. <laughs> um, and we were drinking, and somebody at this party was trying to get other people to go rob a store because he was out of beer that's white trash and in trouble right there. yeah listen i speak from experience <laughs> no as i say not as i do <laughs> that's that's the white trash bible right there <laughs> i made us i said to the guy i was like don't try to get other people especially because one of my buddies was drunk to the point yeah. where he would be dumb enough to do it but like he was like yeah, i'll do it and i'm like no you're not because i'll beat your ass and then I'll, your dad will beat your ass you know, and his dad's an old Marine, like, oh, hard ass, real hard ass, you know? Yeah. And it was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, you want to get fucking alcohol? You go rob the store, you pussy. You don't try to get other people to do your dirty work. And I walked inside. I was in the kitchen. I was talking to some girls. And all I heard was Ding! in my ear. I turned and the dude walked up behind me in a full swung. And he cracked me in the ears. So Jesus Christ. He oh, oh again. he hit you in the ear. That's where the ringing came from. Oh, yeah. And then he went to swing again. I threw a jab. He shot in, and I freaking went to cover and sprawl. And when I did, I tucked my head, think, right into to tile. It was on wet tile, so mm. shoes slipped. And then I uh, put dang, it in Dang, so it's been damaged for, for, like, for that long? For a while. And the reason that I haven't had it fixed uh, – well, like Shannon and I are in the process of like you know, getting this situated um, uh -huh. because I feel I had enough time as a reminder. Uh -huh. You know, I made a lot of dumb choices in my life yeah. and the biggest thing is to learn from them. Uh -huh. And this was my daily reminder to think before acting, you know, and not to put myself in situations like that. So every day I've had to look in the mirror and see this jacked up ass dude. It's a reminder. Hey man, you know you could definitely do cosplay as Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber, right there. <laughs> <laughs> right on there, Harry. Work out the buns on that. Yeah, he must work out. He must work, he must work out. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, man, those are some great articles. Yeah. Uh, well, oh yeah, my oh yeah, my closing. Uh, why I think Karen should be in trouble. I don't know. I just hate the name Karen. I I I. Uh, Fucking Karen. I mean, I don't give a fuck if you storm the Capitol or not. I mean, there's, I, I'm not, I'm not a political human being. I'm not. I mean, I can't be, but I'm not. I try. I'm not a political. I'm not a political comic, you know. But there are other groups that have done just as worse, maybe even more worse, uh, when it comes to rioting and damaging properties, uh, black owned businesses. <laughs> <laughs> as well that and, 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 and showing then, up in Antifa. but but then but then people on like the left side like cnn would say oh they're just fiery but peaceful protest shut the fuck up it's all fiery and not peaceful get the fuck from, out of here but it was most mostly peaceful protests and yeah somebody, fiery. i don't know who it is I'll, I'll give credit to whoever it is that said it i think it was chris cuomo said, mostly peaceful protests yeah but it, they weren't like there was violence. OJ Simpson had a mostly peaceful day. You know, <laughs> I don't know who said it. I heard it somewhere, but it, it registered for me. Here's my thing about yeah. politics for comedy. Yeah. Uh, same as religion. It's too easy. It is. It's too easy to make fun of. Oh, absolutely. Now, if it's like a current event and you're not showing a side to it, okay, talk about it, mm -hmm. but make it funny. You know, don't yeah. pander to fifty percent of it. No. And there's so many people that do that. 
And I'm like, when you do that, you've alienated half the room. That's your first thing. Yeah, I think when it comes to politics and comedy, I think you cannot be one sided. You have to be in the middle. You ha you have yeah. to make you have to make fun of both sides. And mm -hmm. uh, even even religion too. I mean, you have to. You basically have to kind of just uh, not admit. Yeah, I, I think if you're like, okay, like for example, I'm not the blurry blurry name. I, I, you know, he's he's you know he's Jewish. He talks about be, being used to be Jewish, but I mean, but then again, I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to make something up. I'm trying to fucking come up with something right now. I guess maybe what, what, what I'm saying is like you know sometimes a lot. Edit of people it use out. Their, I, I think I think what I mean is a lot a lot of people use their religion as like a layup. On the, I, I, even even a lot of the people with disabilities use their disabilities as a layup as well too you know you know who i'm talking about we don't have to say are you saying a crutch <laughs> i'm saying uh ramen noodles usually if you do that, that that's dangerous <laughs> peanut peanut butter and jellies all right we're all we're all good here all right. Wow. So um, for religion, I always say, like, I leave it alone. You know, I have everybody has their own beliefs. Yeah, of course. When talking to people like trying to change their opinion about religion or politics. You got a better chance of arguing with a brick wall and getting a response you want. Um, it doesn't yeah. go well. And for religion, I leave it alone because who am I to tell you what well, you you're can't, can't believe in? in. Yeah. You know? yeah. My yeah, only exactly. time that I that I go after people about religion is when they're like trying to preach it, but they don't live it. And then they're getting the history wrong. And you know me, I'm a big history buff. So mm -hmm. when they're like, oh, Christianity spread because of kindness. And we were all Dude, so nice. Like, yeah, spread. you never heard of the Crusades. It's, <laughs> no, and what bothers me the most is when people uh, say, oh, Jesus Christ was a Christian. No, he wasn't. He was a Jew. He, he, he was born a Jew. He was raised a Jew. He even died as a Jew. Technically, he died as a Roman. But he was buried as a Jew as well, too. Christianity didn't become Christianity until like 100 years later. With yeah, uh, dude. with Constantine, one hundred yep, and the Council of Nicaea, Council yeah. of Nicaea. There you go, and Crusades as well too. Actually, actually, I remember one time I uh, I got a lot of shit for people uh, because I said like, oh yeah, people are like talking about like Al Qaeda. You know, obviously I don't agree with Al Qaeda, but they're like, oh yeah, they say like the other. You know, they kill in the name of God. I'm like, so did Catholics <laughs> in the Crusades. So and, 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 and people, were, people were like, yeah, but it's different. I'm like, no, it's not. It's the same fucking God. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> it's it's someone's excuse for violence. What it yeah, is. Exactly. My, just, just you know like, my favorite thing, if we're going to talk about this, like this is when <laughs> athletes are like, oh, I couldn't have done this without God when they win. Mm -hmm. You never hear them say that shit when they lose. <laughs> That's like, bro, joke. when you drop that fucking 40 yard bond to hit your hands, okay? Did God choose that? That was Honestly. that was that that's a George Carlin joke when he said, it's like, what are we gonna do to silence these Christian athletes? Yeah, yeah, the ones yeah, who thank Jesus Carlin. whenever they win, but they don't mention his name when they lose. Not a word. <laughs> you don't hear them say, Oh, Jesus made me drop the ball. The good Lord trim me up on behind the line of scrimmage right there. <laughs> Do you really have like a little karaoke mic on the side so you can do a bit? <laughs> yes, hey. sir, white trash. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> we got a, I got a full audience of people right over there. My invisible friends after I and, and, and just some and just some mushroom gummies. Woo! Yeah, I, I took I took some today and it fucking helped with my brain. I actually wrote some good jokes today. I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell them after I stop recording because I don't want people taking my ideas. I, I was kidding. Yeah. They, they they can take my ideas. But the other great thing for yeah. like religion as well, since we're talking about this, is how many people have lost touch with like you know the universe because we have light pollution. You know, advancement in technology. Oh, absolutely. But Everything was based on the stars, you know, mm -hmm. like how many religions copy each other throughout the ages. And it's based on what they were able to see in the night sky. Oh, you know? yeah. I mean, and I, I all these back to paganism. I honestly believe in the Anunnaki mm -hmm. theory, by the way. Yeah. 
I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of convinced. I mean, you never fucking know. Like, you know, that we're here to farm gold for the gods. Well, not just farm gold for the gods, but like I, I do believe that we we could possibly be like a an experiment uh, on fucking um well, which like Homo sapiens mixed with their kind. I guess the, well, you can call them the Nephilim or something like that from the Book of Enoch. I don't want to get too wild or white trash, as people might fucking say as well. Too, I don't know, man. It's 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 interesting. Homo sapiens, you really want to be advanced? You got to be homosexual. That's the future. <laughs> On the third day, <laughs> God created the Remington bolt action rifle so that way <laughs> men could find the dinosaurs and the homosexuals. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, baby girl. Yeah, but no, man. I don't know. I, I, we could definitely talk about this. Uh, yeah, on the on our history podcast. Whenever we get that rolling, hell, we could do it right after this one if we wanted. Um, we we could. I mean, I mean, yeah. Miranda's Miranda's not home. I don't know. Wait, when's she coming home? She got a text. She's like, "Fuck you, Scotty. I'm leaving you. this case." Oh, she says, "On my way home." Six minutes ago. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. We could. I, I feel like I need to get like notes ready and shit. Yeah, we, we're I'm, gonna do that. Do it right. Yeah, I'm like retarded when it comes to like ad lib and, and stuff. I'm just like so. <laughs> Aristotle and I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to do with my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing also because um, a certain comic we know and uh, we've spent a lot of time with. Mm -hmm. um, I messaged him and I said, uh, "My new intro for you is this guy looks like Woody Allen if he ate Woody Allen." Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> and oh. he just takes me back and he goes, Works for me. He also likes him young. <laughs> Tell me who it is. Tell me who it is after after re after recording. That's fun. That's fucking hilarious. I think I think I did hear you say that. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking funny. Anyway, long story short. The people we talked about were white trash and in trouble. I'm Scotty Chi. And I'm EJ Salter. And we are white trash and white in trash trouble. And in trouble. That's right. See you on the next one, folks. <laughs>